WordPress makes password protecting a single page very easy, but it might not be exactly what you're looking for. In this video, I'll show you the default way that WordPress handles adding a password to a single page, but we'll also look at seed prod, which will add a lot more control and functionality to your single password protected pages. Hi, my name is Chris from seed prod, the number one landing page builder for WordPress. Seed prod has a built in visual drag and drop editor that makes it really easy for you to build any type of landing page that you want. Now, before we jump into the tutorial, a lot of you may need something more advanced than what I'm about to show you. And I want you to check out member press. I'm going to leave a link in the description, and this is for advanced membership management, which has a lot of powerful features that may interest you. If you'd like to learn more about Cprod and all that it can offer for you, please hit the subscribe button and the bell to be notified of future videos. So the first thing we need to do is get Cprod installed. And to show the full features of Cprod for this video, we're going to install the pro version. So let's go ahead and head over to Cprod.com. And you want to click on the get Cprod button up here and create your account. And then once you have an account, we're going to click on login. And then on the left side, let's enter your email address and the password that you use to sign up with. After you click the sign in button or the login button, you'll be in the dashboard for seed prod. You can go ahead and click on the downloads tab right here. And let's go ahead and download the plugin. We're going to click download landing page pro. And right here, we're going to click the icon to copy our license key so that we can paste it when we install the plugin. And let's leave this window open for now, as we're going to use the documentation in a minute. Let's come back to the dashboard, go to plugins, add new, upload plugin, and you can drag this file here or you can select it from your hard drive and click install now. We can close this tab at the bottom and we can activate the plugin and we can paste that license key in here and we can verify the key. And if everything went fine, you should get a valid license. Now let's come over and click on pages on the left hand side and to activate a password protected area, we'll need to use the coming soon mode. But first I want to show you how WordPress does it the default way. So let's go to pages and add new and let's just call this test page and let's say we had some member protected content. So this could be videos, pictures, a service, a PDF file, whatever it is that you want to protect. This would be on this page right here. So you could add whatever content. Now, if we go to the page options on the right side, we can click on visibility right now. It's to public and we don't want to use private because only people who are logged in with admin privileges and editor privileges can see the page. So we want to actually use password protected and then we could use whatever password we want to use. So we could just say seed prod for now, and then you would publish this page and now we can take a quick look. And now this is the default WordPress theme. So this page is going to look like your theme that you have installed, but you really don't have much control control over the design or what you can add to the page. This is just the default look of what this page looks like. Unless you're a web developer and you know how to code HTML and CSS to create a custom page, you're going to want to use something that's a little bit easier and more flexible, such as seed prod. So right here, this is where we would put in our password that we entered. And now you'd see the member protected content. Now that's great for really, really simple situations, but again, it doesn't look very nice. So let's come back to our dashboard and down under seed prod, let's go to pages. And we're going to set up a coming soon page, the coming soon mode and the maintenance mode. These are the only two that have access controls that we can actually create a password protected area with. So let's go to set up a coming soon page. And now you're presented with this page that has a bunch of templates on it. So you can import any of these and you can also filter them by tag up here. So if you want a 404 page or a sales page, you can go ahead and do that as well. I'm going to come down and just select this one right here. And now this is the visual drag and drop editor that seed prod has. So we can literally take blocks from the left side and we can drop them onto the page and this will instantly design and lay out our page however we want it. Now the template that we just imported, we can do a blank template from scratch if you wanted to. This just gives us a little bit of a head start. So let's just change the text here. So download our top 20 summer style tips PDF. So maybe we could have a PDF file on the page that we're protecting and then enter your email below to get a password sent to you. So you could actually hook this up to an email marketing service. So active campaign or MailChimp or whoever you wish. And then you could send an autoresponder that would send them the password. And then we could enter our password field here and they could enter that to then get access to the PDF file. At the same time, then you're capturing emails. I'm just going to keep this a little bit more simple though for now. So on the blocks to enter our password field, we come down and we need the custom HTML block. And then we're going to add some custom code in here. Let's go back to our seed prod window, come to documentation, and then we want the pages. And then we scroll down, we can come to bypass URL and password protection. And you can read this if you like. What we need though, is this piece of code right here. 
Now there is a short code without the return URL. We actually want the one with the return URL as this one would return you to the front page after logging in where we wanna send someone directly to a URL. So let's come back and we'll paste this in here and you're not gonna see the form until we preview it. For now, I'm just gonna save this and then close this window and we're gonna to go to add new page and you can call this whatever you want. And then right in here is where you would include a file and you could pick that in your media library and upload it and that would be your PDF that you would add into the page. And then of course you could use Seedprod to create a landing page for this page as well and make it a little bit more fancy and nice looking. I'm just doing a quick example here. So let's publish this page and let's view it. And this is the secret area that people would download the actual file from. We actually want this URL right here. And then we're going to come back to seed prod pages and we're going to edit the coming soon mode. And then right here, we're going to edit this and paste that URL right in here. So after they enter their password, they're going to be returned to that PDF download page to get the PDF. Now you might have noticed we haven't actually set up the password yet. So let's go ahead to page settings. And then we wanna to go to access control. And here's where you can control the bypass URL. And this is where the password will go. How long that password will be valid for the, until they have to enter it again. If you wanna limit people by access um, by IP, um, access by role, or if you wanna include and exclude URLs. So the first thing we wanna do is bypass URL, enter your password. Words. So we could say secret. And then down below, we want to include URLs. We don't want this on the entire website. We're only protecting a single page, right? So let's paste in that URL. And this is the page that we're protecting with the password. All right, so let's go ahead and save this and click on preview. And I just wanted to show you this first that it's probably not going to work properly and that there's one more step here that we have to do. So let's come back and exit out of here. And you'll notice this little inactive inactive button here. Let's just toggle this over to active. And now you'll see a orange banner up here in the right corner that'll say that coming soon mode is active. Let's go ahead and click on preview. And now we can see the page is loading perfectly fine. And then in here is where we would add our password. And there we go, when we preview it, we enter the password, we can see the PDF download page, and then they would go ahead and download the file right here. And keep in mind, you can use Seedprod to do this with all sorts of things, certain surveys. You could install RafflePress to give away certain products or prizes. Maybe you have a webinar that you want to password protect to certain people. There is an enormous amount of potential with using this feature. Thanks for watching this video and I hope you found it helpful. Please check out this next video on how to create a coming soon page easily from scratch. I'll go through all the steps for you. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.